This replay is for Q. Uh, champ 2? Champ 3? Champ replay for Q. 2v2. Um, I don't quite remember everything he said that he wanted to work on. But he just said in chat that he's trash. So, you know, there has to be something, right? <laughs> so, good so far. Yes, I, I think this is well, well timed. Um, a stark contrast from things we've seen. Oh, champ one. Thank you, Q. Champ one for Q. This is a stark contrast from the golds and the diamonds we've seen. Uh, Q, as a champ, is pushing forward. And he's actively trying to make a challenge, even though there's a person on the ball, right? This is being aggressive at the right time. Being upfield at the right time. He actually gets a really nice play, and then he goes for a demo. Gets the guy to jump, and that's a goal. That's... I mean, I... That's beautiful. This is a great play. Um, it's heads up. He has plenty of boosts. Why not go make a play here? Because it's technically a 2v1. And, uh... Yeah. This teammate has, does a great job sliding it in there. Good start. Will it continue? Let's... Let's... Let's see. <laughs> Alright. Nice control. So I, I like it. You you took the control. You jumped up for it. Our teammate's also following. I, let's see what from his perspective. What is he looking at? Our teammate has... Oh, your teammate saw it as a pass. So, I mean, that's fine. I don't think you guys get actually scored on right away. It was okay to go for, but, you know, it wasn't performed perfectly. Try the redirect. Oh, almost got past that guy. Get the boost, let's rotate around. Good. Oh, it's a bad angle, I think, on it. I feel like you're a little too deep. Like, the only place you're going to hit this ball is into the corner or into... Uh, the sidewall and it's gonna be pretty soft so that's why maybe when we rotate around here so we go for this we get this boost we rotate it's almost like it's too sharp right I feel like we're all we're just a little too close and everything's kind of happening underneath the ball so and then it leads to this play so yeah as Bracestar just said low value play low, lose possession not great um, we also have zero boost now, so let's be careful, right? I would fake challenge this. There's no need to full challenge this. If you're going to be there and you're going to challenge this and try to make them do something, if you're low boost, just drive at the dude. Just drive at him. Don't jump. Don't flip. And if he just does something and gets it away from you, you could still probably keep your momentum and try to get little boost pads and get back, right? Let's not fully jump and flip and try to dunk him because that just puts us out of the play longer and it keeps us away from getting boost uh thankfully we get back in time um good try there i like that i mean let's try to keep possession right you put this ball in a spot where you try to go for it again which is good that thought is good so obviously the execution was poor but that's just you know that's a mechanical thing you'll uh you'll get there All right, we're going to take this for our teammate, which is fine. Our teammate was struggling in the net. Let's get this boost. Oh, no, our teammate went. Okay, so that's... I think that's fine. We just need to get this boost. But we don't want to flip forward, so it's it's tough. Oh, but we have zero boost. Let's not commit for something that's going to be like a miracle shot, right? Like, realistically, we're zero boost. Like best case scenario is we dunk the guy and get a goal so it's it's tough i mean you're right there anyways it just feels like you need a boost in that play somehow you know i feel like there's a time to get boost it's just all awkward so it's hard to tell it's not clear good 50. We take our time good no one challenged us. We don't have to make a, a crazy irritable play if we don't need to. Although it maybe have worked better. Good demo for my teammates. Try to get the goal. Didn't quite work out. Defense was too fast. 
I feel like you're not getting enough little boost pads. I feel like your pathing is weird. There's something with it. I feel like you should have more boost. So look where we're flipping as we come out of it. Like, you're flipping kind of a no man's land. It's weird. I think you're just trying to get back. But, like, yeah, there's, there should be more opportunities, I feel like, to uh, get little boost pads somehow. And keep your boost up. Right, good. We're being patient. We're not trying to challenge, go up too fast. Steal the boost. Ah, our teammate cut us off. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, I feel like this de that was definitely your ball, and then you get bumped, which is again unfortunate. But we get back in time. I would say this is actually one of those few times where it's like, yeah, let's just get to the ball and try to save it. Obviously, you know, our ideal rotation is back post, be parallel with the goal line, but. Sometimes you just kind of got to go and get in the way. So I think this is one of those times. So I actually don't hate hate that at all. Oh, it would have been nice to score that, though. Good. That was tough. That was a, that's a really tough aerial. I'm going to chalk this one up to more of a mechanical thing. And, I mean, Orange Team had you beat. I feel like you kind of had to go for that, though. There's a lot of ambigu ambiguity. Ambiguity? 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 I don't know how to say words. But this replay so far has been, like, a lot of, like, oh, I feel like you're doing the right thing, but there's, like, some awkwardness. And, uh... Yeah, it's, it's hard to pinpoint exactly, like, if there's a better way to do something or rotationalize. All right, now let's get out of here. Yep, let's flip back. Start cutting in field. Really like this rotation. Ah, let's not get too crazy though, right? Um, we're champ one, right? If we're SSL or GC, I love this positioning because I mean, why not? I think our team will get there. He'll probably get us the ball. But champ one in general, we don't like being parallel with our teammate or even in front of them. Uh, cause most likely they're going to try to do a play and they're just going to get dunked or they're not going to pass it to you. They're just going to get past the guy. And then you're kind of going to be too far forward to get like the best shot crazy, right? Or <laughs> I read crazy in chat. Sorry. The best shot possible, right? You're not going to have a good run up and the ball is going to be looking, you're going to be looking at it weird with your camera. Um, so in general, I mean, like we want to be more like if we're going to be like in the net and we're going to be pushing up kind of the same side as them but as they're moving forward we're kind of supporting them back here more um and that saves us from you know being able to play all the the possibilities that could happen from this 50. so maybe we're in a better spot but you do a good job of retreating back right away but if it was just a worse 50 then we would never have been able to get back in time is the problem so good control they didn't have much there Oh, did you read him? Oh, again, another miss. That's tough. And our teammate didn't go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did our teammate do here? Our teammate's getting boost. Oh, why did he go? Where is he going? I, I really need to know this. Where is he going? That That is 100% supposed to be a goal. He didn't touch the ball. He didn't touch the ball at all. Damn. Okay. Rip. Honestly, I thought that would be a... That should have been a goal. So, good challenges. Teammate's going to take over. That's fine. Let's rotate out. Or rotate around to help. Good cutoff. Going to get back in time. Try to play it through the corner. Not much there. Oh, a little misplay by Orange side, though. Um, so going for balls like this, totally fine. You know, we clear it crazy. We clear it all the way to the side, uh, all the way to the corner, um, which is a good spot. I think there are going to be times here though, too, when we get in these positions with this ball that we can maybe somehow take a softer touch and take it to the ground and control it. So that way we're not just always, you know, I don't want you to keep getting into the habit of you know, throwing the ball up field and clearing it all the time. There's There are times when we can take a softer touch and try to dribble it. 
I think this case with our orange opponent right here, you did a good job. Just clear it. That, it's the safer play. But as we get higher ranks, there's sometimes, you know, I'll point out something like this where there might be times where we can try to control the ball too. But you put the ball in a good spot where you followed it up still anyways. So I always want to try to make you think about possession and how you can keep it. Because that's so important, especially in twos. I feel like twos is all about possession. Oof, we didn't get the boost. Which is tough. And I think it's going to end in a goal here. Yeah. Let's kind of go back here a little bit. So we miss out on this boost. Um, I feel like you're in ball cam just a little too, or out of ball cam just a little too long. Like, line this up, and let's flip to it if we're going to commit to this middle boost. So line it up, flip to it, get back in ball cam so we can see what's going on. Um, we kind of flip it, we miss it first off. Then we get back in ball cam, and, you know, the ball's coming at us. This gets awkward. Um, probably wouldn't go for this corner boost either at this point. At this point, we see I see a free shot on net. I'm trying to, like, get these little boost pads, try to get here to make a play. I'm trying to see if that actually make a difference, though, if you did that. It might have. You might have been able to save that if you just went straight back to net and got little boost pads, right? We want to... Having full boost is great, but protecting our net is also important. So that's a small thing, though. I feel like it was an awkward situation anyways to begin with. So not the best touch off the corner, but we try for the demo again. Teammate kind of flings it to the other side of the field. Oh, probably it's awkward. Our teammates just our teammate just rotated just so poorly, I feel like. Like he isn't. I don't know if I like this rotation for Pamela. Get the boost, but like he's flipping back into the corner. He's not like really doing anything. You never want to really rotate the same size of the ball. I feel like if he would would have got that middle boost and then came around this way and try, try to protect the back post of the net, it would have been much better. But he just it's just kind of awkward. He's just kind of in the way a little bit. Where I feel like you could have went for a lot of those. But now we're just chilling, vibing. Good clear. Got past him. Now we wait. You have really good positioning for the most part here. I feel like you wait back. You don't, you know, overcommit to things that aren't, you know, viable, I suppose is the best word. Like, they're not going to happen. They're not going to work. Get that boost. Nice. We'll slow down, try to take control. A little bit of a heavy touch. This is where we want our first touches to be really, really soft, right? Get a softer one so we can follow it up. Or, you know, not just hit it straight to the net either. We could do other plays with this. You know, I see him facing. I come off the wall. Where's my mouse? I come off the wall and I kind of see him facing this way. If we cut this more in field like this. We probably dust him, and if not, try to get around it and score it ourselves, or have our teammate who has been kind of all over the place come in and try to score this, right? Um, but we kind of punt it right to him, and he gets possession back. You do a good job of rotating out at least. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Wait a minute. So we kind of give up the possession. Where is this ball actually at? We give away possession. And oh, our teammate just had a bad 50. And we couldn't get back in time. It's tough. Like, you should have enough time to get boost and come back. I feel like our teammate needs to do a better job of um, killing time for us. Oh, we're just a little. Now, this goal is us not watching our opponents, right? We're just looking at this ball, waiting for an opportunity to try to shoot it on net. We gotta be looking at our opponents here. Our opponent's off the air. He's already jumped for this. Now you are in no man's land. You have no way of ever getting to this ball in time. So that's unfortunate. And then it ends up in the, the final goal. And I feel like that's such a like a it's such a crappy way to end it because realistically you didn't make a lot of mistakes, I don't think. Like rotationally you're solid. Um, 
you know, you were in the right spot a lot. You didn't do anything blatantly wrong, except for like the one time you committed a little too far forward. I feel like something to work on are probably probably just play more so that you can get, you know, a lot of those power shots or those opportunities you did have on net to actually become goals, right? They're pretty unfortunate. You had really good dribbles, you double jump pop and you try to get the ball, you got the ball past everybody and it was a shot on net, but it was just wide. If we convert a lot of those plays, I feel like you would have won this game easy. Um, so I feel like there's some offensive things like dribbles, control of the ball that could be worked on. Uh, game sense wise, I don't, I couldn't really see anything that was glaringly bad. Like you were very quick, you were in the right spot most of the time. I feel like it's just coming down to playing, just having played more and getting in those hours so that you understand how the game works, get more consistent, things are like that. I don't know if, if, if Braidstar, Nova, if you had any other suggestions with that.